I don't think people realize how well the Kansas City Chiefs have drafted over the last couple years. And when you're trying to compete for Super Bowls with a quarterback on a huge contract, building through the draft is really the only way to assemble a strong supporting cast. I wanna highlight five players on the second or third year of their rookie deal with the Chiefs, who I think are underrated and who the Chiefs are gonna rely on to stay at the top of Super Bowl contention. And the first player that I wanna highlight is Nick Bolton. Nick Bolton was a second round pick in 2021. He's a linebacker that violently engages with blocks. He's a secure tackler that's always communicating on the field. He had the fourth most run stops among NFL linebackers last season. And in general, he just seems like the kind of player that would be annoying to block because of his hand pop and the way that he embraces contact. He was surprisingly good in pass coverage as a rookie. He had the fourth lowest EPA per target. And if we look at this plot, which is PFF coverage grade versus run defense grade, you can see that Nick Bolton and Willie Gay, who we will get to later, were both solid in both aspects of their game. He's not very light on his feet, so he'll probably never be an elite coverage linebacker, but he's a playmaker and just a heat-seeking missile in zone coverage. He's really comfortable playing top down, crashing on stuff in front of him. He does kind of struggle moving backwards. Looking at this play, the Bills are running spear, which is actually a concept that Andy Reid sort of popularized. It's two posts and a deep cross. The post from the number one receiver stretches the safeties vertically, and the post from the number two narrows the hook defender, which creates an open pocket for the deep cross. Bolton is just a second late diagnosing the route, and he doesn't have the explosiveness to close the window. Overall, Nick Bolton is off to an incredible start to his NFL career, and like I said, I doubt he'll ever be an elite coverage linebacker, but he's not a liability, and his run defense makes up for it regardless. Willie Gay Jr. is another second round linebacker from 2020. Uh, he has explosive short area burst. You really see this in zone coverage. He can bait quarterbacks into making bad decisions because he breaks on routes so quickly. As the season progressed, Willie Gay became more and more decisive with his route anticipation. And I think as he continues to put it together mentally, he has the potential to be one of the best covered linebackers in the league because his traits are that special. I was a little underwhelmed with his run defense. Not that it was bad, uh, he just needs to become a little bit more assertive. And I would expect that to develop in the same way his pass coverage has. So the Chiefs have one of the more underrated linebacker duos in the league and their stock is only going up. And speaking of duos, the Chiefs also added Creed Humphrey and Trey Smith, who had outstanding rookie seasons on the interior O-line. Creed Humphrey in particular had one of the most impressive rookie seasons I've seen from an offensive lineman. He's in the top 10 of any metric that you look at. Uh, he had the highest PFF grade ever for a rookie offensive lineman, and he really just doesn't have any holes in his game. He can block for any run scheme. His power and his anchor are so consistent. He only allowed 12 pressures on 956 pass blocking snaps. It's just not normal for rookie offensive linemen to enter the NFL and immediately be a top three player at their position. Trey Smith's rookie season wasn't quite as dominant as Creed Humphrey's because he did struggle in times at pass protection, but he made up for it with great run blocking. He's a more physically dominant player than Creed Humphrey in my opinion, even though Humphrey wins blocks more consistently. But Trey Smith just has the ability to flatten people because he's so powerful. Once he cleans up his technique and pass protection, he has the potential to be one of the premier guards in the NFL. And then the final player I want to mention is cornerback Legereus Sneed. He had an outstanding rookie season and his second year was a little disappointing in comparison, but I think as Kansas City's defense improved as a whole, you saw a similar level of improvement in Legereus Sneed, so I expect him to have a big third year. Over the next two to three years, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be paying these five players an average of $6.75 million per year. That's a little less than $7 million for five high quality starters. And that's exactly how you extend a Super Bowl window when you're paying your quarterback a lot of money.